What is shaken, Internet? This is Salts bringing you some more How to Tank LFR for Dummies. This will be the fifth boss in the instance, aka Ultraxian, aka the Twilight boss. Uh, the big dragon boss, I don't know, whatever. Whatever people call him. But either way, um, let's go ahead and start off with the trash here. So you're gonna have to do, uh, talk to Thrall, talk to Calic Ghosts, or Malik Ghosts, or one of them, one of them dragon folk people. And, uh, the encounter will begin. Um, this is actually very simple and straightforward trash. It can get a little hectic, but basically, uh, there's all gonna be all these dragons. See there, you can see them one now. Uh, these dragons appear from the outside ring, and then they start breathing fire. If they are not pulled out of the sky, uh, if they're not pulled out of the sky by damage or taunt or something like that, they will create a line of fire on the ground that does pretty significant damage to anybody who stands in it. You can see a little bit of fire over there, it's a little crazy, but uh, as a tank you do have to keep up with this because uh, what you want to do is you want to keep taunting all the dragons down from the sky. As soon as you see a dragon up in the sky that's not uh, coming down, you need to either taunt it or hit it with some ranged ability or something just so that it comes down to you. So, um, that's pretty much, th there's nothing specifically that the trash does other than that wall of fire. Uh, it can get a little hectic because they uh, come in like rows of three or four. So you and the off tank are going to have to switch and make sure that you taunt everything down. Uh, any, anyway, also range wants to pull down the, uh, uh, range can pull them down too if they just do enough damage. All they have to do is just hit them a couple times and then they will fly down. Uh, if they don't fly down, they create that big wall of fire. So you definitely want to pull them down as soon as possible and then just AoE them to get you aggro on them. Uh, it's really nothing nothing else that I can really say about this trash because it's pretty straightforward. They don't have any special abilities. Once they're, once they're flying down, it's just a matter of holding threat on them. Uh, there's just a lot of them, and they do survive more more than a couple of hits, so you will have to grab them all and, and keep them off of your raid members. Uh, other than that, though, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Just use all your taunts, use all your ranged on the outside, and pull them on down. So, uh, getting right into the main boss. The main boss is Ultraxian, and we'll go ahead and cut up forward here real quick. So, Ultraxian is the uh, the main boss that he will come up after all the spawns die after like three minutes or so. So after three minutes of fighting ads, they'll finally stop coming, and eventually Ultraxian will fly up and come here. Uh, so Ultraxian does a number of different moves. We're going to focus on the two big ones. Um, really, those are the only two that really matter. Uh, so one of them is Hour of Twilight. So Hour of Twilight is actually a move... Uh, oh, wait. Once it happens, you get pulled into the Twilight Realm. Before I do this, you get pulled into the Twilight Realm and a little button pops up. You're going to see this button uh, in just a second. I don't know what's going on here. Sure, ready, whatever. So, uh, once you see this button, I'll tell you. Monstrous Force pulls you into the Twilight Force. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Now, where's the button? I'm waiting for the button to appear so I can show it to you. There it is. So that big purple button right above my interface there. It'll appear anywhere. So what you want to do is you want to click that button, and when you click that button, you move from this Twilight Realm into the Realm of Normal. Uh, once you go to the Realm of Normal, you cannot be damaged by the boss, and you cannot damage the boss for about five seconds or so. Uh, that's all that button does. However, you want to use that button for the major mechanics of the fight. Uh, so ma major mechanic number one is Hour of Twilight. So Hour of Twilight will actually... Um, do massive damage to everybody in the raid. I think it'll actually wipe the raid very easily in normal, but in LFR it doesn't actually kill most people. I don't think it does enough damage to kill everyone, or anyone for that matter. But basically what you want to do is, in Hour of Twilight, when it comes down to it, you want to, um, you want to not click that button. Everybody else should be clicking that button. So in a perfect, in a perfect world, in a perfect scenario, uh, the two tanks stay behind. So here's Hour of Twilight. Everyone else kind of grays out. You see on the raid frames, everybody grades out. The people that gray out are the ones who hit the button. So in a perfect world, everybody hits the button except for the two tanks. Uh, they all leave. They don't take damage from Hour of Twilight. And you two tanks stay and take the damage. Um, for whatever reason, if the tanks don't stay, I think uh, all the aspects die. But it, it, I don't know if that actually happens in LFR or not. 
So, like, somebody has to, two people have to stay behind. Whatever. So, Hour of Twilight, don't even bother with it. Here's the other thing. Fading Light. Fading Light is on me right now. Basically, what happens is, so a little counter gets on you. Gets on you, and um, after anywhere between four seconds and eight seconds, you die. Straight and simple. Um, the only way to avoid this is by clicking the big purple button. Once you click that button, if you have fading light, let's say it's, uh, it's running out, so it's got three seconds left on the timer. You click the purple button, and you leave, and you go to the normal realm instead of the twilight realm or whatever. Uh, at the end of fading light, so three seconds later, it will actually kill you. But instead of killing you, if you're in the normal realm, you get pulled into the twilight realm. If you're in the twilight realm when fading light ends, you die. So as a tank, that's what you have to do. He only casts it on the person who has threat on him, so it will only be cast on tanks if you're tanking correctly. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're fast enough, if you're actually fast enough, you can jump out right before the timer clicks, and you get pulled back in directly, and you can taunt off. So I've actually done this with one tank, so it's really not even that big a fight. But those are two, the only two mechanics, really, in the entire fight. Uh, no movement is required at all. Um, just DPS as much as you can. Hold threat as much as you can. Don't get killed by fading, fading light. And there you go. You win. It's plain and simple. Um, that's, that's pretty much all there is to this fight. Um, so Hour of Twilight, like I said, I think two people have to stay behind. In normal, they do. And out of far, I'm not sure. I would say it doesn't really matter uh, because... No matter what, there's always going to be two range DPS or two DPS in general that just don't click it. Like right there, three DPS didn't click the button, so boom, they die. Or they get hurt badly. Whatever. You can't do anything about it. Uh, the two cool things about this fight is, number one, at the very beginning of the fight, you get uh, Defender of Azeroth or something. So all of your defensive cooldowns uh, actually get their duration reduced, or their cooldown reduced by half. So if you have a three minute reduced 50% damage cooldown, it will become a one and a half minute reduced 50% damage cooldown. So you want to use those as much as possible. I don't even use them in this fight because it's really not that important. I'm not getting enough damage. The only time I would ever use it is during Hour of Twilight right here. But who knows? Oh yeah, I did actually just use it there. Popped it. But it doesn't really matter. Do it when you can. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the fight. I will say also, at the very end of the fight, or near the end of the fight, um, the Nor Nosdormu or whatever, the Bronze Drake, he actually gives you an ability that if you die, you come back to life. So you can actually just die. Although it's not really a big deal. Uh, it, it's just kind of a nice thing for the healers. But as far as tanking goes, that's, that's all there is to it. And that's really all there is to the fight. Hopefully you have enjoyed this guide. Uh, hopefully it's been nice and short and easy. So good luck when you're in your own LFR runs as a tank. I will be bringing you more LFR runs shortly. And more tanking goodness with the trash included. So, as always, you keep it saltsy, Internet. I will.